This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Okay, I'm on the server where we just installed Windows Server 2012 Core. So this does not have a GUI. Now let's say I want it to have a GUI, either the full GUI or the minimal GUI. Well, it's not quite as easy as going from full GUI down to server core and then back from server core to full GUI because since we installed a fresh copy of the core, then it does not have the binaries to add those extra features that we need for the full GUI or the minimal GUI. So we need to specify where those are going to be. Now, we could put them on the network if we'd like. And in that case, we're just going to run a PowerShell command here. Install dash Windows feature server GUI management infra. This will give us our management tools. Then server dash GUI dash shell. This will give us the whole uh, full GUI. And then this minus source option here is going to specify where those binaries are. Or if we don't have them on the network, we can actually mount them from our installation DVD. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of that command. So I'm not going to run that command. And I'll go ahead and exit out of PowerShell. So first I'm going to make a new directory with the make directory C colon mount dir uh, directory. So this is going to be a new directory that we're going to mount our Windows image to. So I'll go ahead and hit enter, make that directory. Then we're going to use DISM and get WIM info. This is going to uh, show us all the different images that are in our WIM file. And I've got my uh, installation my Windows Server 2012 installation DVD in my D drive so go ahead and hit enter so we've got all these different indexes here one two three and four number one is the Windows Server 2012 server standard core so that's what I've currently got installed I actually need the binaries from the full GUI version which is the Windows Server 2012 server standard so I need index 2. If I was using data center, then I would need index 4 down here. But I'm using standard, so I'm going to use index 2. So the next command we're going to run is dism slash mount wim. It's going to mount our Windows image slash wim file colon and then the path. My path is D because that's where my uh, DVD drive is. D colon backslash sources backslash install dot wim slash index colon two we got the number two here from our index slash mount dir so we're going to mount it to that new directory that we just created and we're going to make it read only so I'll go ahead and hit enter and it's going to go ahead and mount that image so I also could have done this on another computer and created a file share to the directory on let's say my computer so that the server could access it as opposed to putting it directly on the server or mounting it directly on the server. So that's another option. And then we'd use that uh, command minus source with the UNC path backslash backslash. Uh, in my example is file server 01 backslash win wins 12 EE. Because sometimes it's easier to mount something to your own computer than it is to uh, mount something to a server. Because the server might be in the data center. All right, now that that's mounted, we're going to run a, that PowerShell command. It's going to be our install dash windows feature space server dash gui dash mgmt dash infra this is going to be one of the features and then comma space server dash gui dash shell space and then our source so minus source space and then since i mounted it to my c drive in a mount dir folder the full path is going to be windows backslash win sxs so i'll go ahead and hit enter and it's going to go ahead and add those features. Okay, and it completed. It lets me know that I need to restart the computer. So I can go ahead and do that from the PowerShell uh, prompt here. I'll just use the restart computer commandlet. Okay, the server's back up, and I've logged in, and we can see now it has the full GUI.